Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Nancy Drew, the final scene. My name is Azzy and I'll be your Let's Player for tonight. So what I want you to do is kick back, relax, turn off those lights, turn up that volume, and let's get started. I honestly don't remember where we last ended. Um, but what I am gonna do is talk to people because that will help. Oh yeah, wasn't I supposed to call that place with the thing and the, the people about the blue, the blue, 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 blue blueprints? The woo's thing babas? Yes, county administration. That's what we're gonna do, guys. I've had a long day, so I apologize if I seem a bit off or odd. Um, I have just... Everything, obviously, is just... I want this day to be over with. Let's start a new one. Records, Madeline speaking. Hi, I'm looking for the blueprints for the Royal Palladium Theater. Do you have them on file? Are you a county employee? No, just a citizen on a mission. Okay, well, we do keep blueprints on file. Let's see. The computer says there are two sets for the Palladium, 1923 and 1956. Do you have a preference? 1923, please. The originals. Would you like to hold while I retrieve them? Sure, thanks. I hate holding. This is awful. See, at least this is okay music. I mean, it's not the best music. But some of the music... Okay, well, that's, that's kind of weird now. But some of the music these days are, like, awful. God awful. It's like, why are you making me listen to this? Just put me on, like, a normal... I don't know. Ma'am? Yes, I'm still here. It's very strange, ma'am. They're gone. Gone? You mean someone checked them out? Oh, we don't allow people to check them out. Mm. You can bring the blueprints to our reading room and study them there, but they're not supposed to leave the building. I can't imagine where they could be. Hold on, let me see if Charles knows. Ah, uh, yeah, it's put me on hold once again. Oh, Jesus Christ, I hate being on hold of people. Or like, you finally get in touch with a person and they're like, hold on, you're not at the right person. I don't know what's going on now. All right, then. Fantastic. Ma'am, we're back. So we're back. Charles says some guy was just in here looking at them a few days ago. What did he look like? Hold on. You can't just like I don't know. Do this while I'm on the phone. You have to put me on hold. And like I like how the music ends and it's just like okay, well we're done with putting you on hold now. Hello. Charles said the guy had a hat on. Well, that's he very descriptive. Really got to look at the guy. Was he young or old? Hey, Charles, young or old? Energetic is all Charles See, that's what she should have done before. Hmm. Okay, well, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm working on some things over here at the Royal Palladium. You know, like kidnapping. Could you do a search for the blueprints? Sure thing. I'll put in a find request. <sighs> Call back in five to seven business days. Next week? Oh, I'm afraid I don't have that kind of time. Is there any way to expedite the search? I'm afraid not. The guy who does our misplaced material searches just returned from a month of paternity leave. And he Wait, did it just say pattern? Yeah. It's yes, it's urgent, all right. Huh. But I'll figure something I don't know very out. many people that Thanks, actually go on paternity leaves, but who knows? Die. Right? I, I I don't know many people who've actually taken paternity leave, but I'm sure it's very common elsewhere, but not where I am from. We don't have many people. Hell, even mothers they hardly go on maternity leave. At least as far as I know. Um, I know my mom. I think she took only a little bit time off when she had me and, and my brothers. Hey there, Nancy. So, where are you going after the demolition? So, where will you go after the demolition? Are you planning to retire? Greasewood, Arizona. My brother Jake is there. It's a tiny town with no movie theater, so we're gonna put one on the map. I got some money saved. Yeah, that's nice. So tell me, who was... Um, this J.J. Thompson character? Who is this J.J. Thompson character anyway? Old J.J. Owner. Visionary. Wheeler Dealer. J.J. loved a magic show. He had this place built with those kind of big spectacle shows in mind. J.J. also happened to love the sight of his own mug in the mirror. You can tell by the way he, uh, ornamented the auditorium with his own head. Yeah, so tell me about this old key-making machine. Tell me about that old key-making machine in the lobby. Has it been out of order long? It's been broken for a spell. The kids lost interest in it when video games came along. But I bet it wouldn't be hard to fix. I'd love for you to see how it works. And Thank then you, you can make yourself a little souvenir from the Royal Palladium. Of course. Or send a key to your sweetheart. That works too. Yes, Ned would love a key for me. History. The history of this theater is so rich. I'm surprised the city of St. Louis isn't more interested in preserving it. Well, they are interested. The Historical Society's been working like the Dickens to get this place declared a landmark. But someone downtown has been stalling. They're awfully close. Gotta go now. Gotta go now. Don't let the turkeys get you down. So, hmm, 
Interesting, interesting. Anything else we can do here? I don't think there is, at least right now. I do know that, is it today or tomorrow they're gonna have the press conference? It's probably tomorrow. They're gonna have a press conference, which is really cool because I like to sit in and listen to their press conference going on. Don't know if I'm gonna let you guys listen in because that might be a bit of a bore for you, but whatever. So yeah, I had a bit of a day today. I was driving back from, so I've been going to my old university until I get into grad school, until uh, my grad school starts. And um, there's the, my old university's classes have started for the undergrads and grad students. And so I've been going and sitting in with some of those classes just because, you know, the teachers are like, hey, you know, you're still around, you wanna, you wanna sit in? So uh, the nerd that I am, I have decided to sit in on some of these classes and learn a few new things, hopefully. And uh, on my way back, my car decides to break down on me, which was fantastic. Thank you, car. Um, it overheated. There was a lot of traffic, and a lot, a lot of time if my car is, like, sitting in traffic for a long period of time, it starts getting hot, um, and it was sitting in traffic way too long. got way too hot, and, yeah, I had to pull over, started smoking, then got a stop when I did because it would have shut down on me not long after I pulled over, so. On your stage name, I'm thinking Samantha Quick. You love it, right? Yeah, it was fantastic. Joseph says the building was probably locked. Joseph says the building was probably locked when the kidnapping happened, and that the kidnapper had to be someone who was inside the theater. Care to comment? Why don't you tell that little gray troll that I think he did it, just to keep himself from dying of boredom in this old dump? That's my comment. I'm asking everyone, where were you when the kidnapping happened? I'm asking everyone, where were you when the kidnapping happened? Oh, please, Nancy, I was on the phone, doing business. But if I'm ever hard-pressed for entertainment, I'm sure kidnapping would be a real hoot. Yep, I think your phone's about to ring. I think your phone's about to ring. Ciao. Ciao. All right. Um, also, okay, so after I pulled over and, like, it started smoking pretty badly, and it was, like, obviously, turned the car off and obviously wasn't going to be able to turn it back on, which I ended up trying a little while later. Still wouldn't turn back on. So um, I had to get somebody to help me tow my car um, so I wouldn't have to pay a towing fee or whatever, any of those, whenever you pay for it to be towed. We took a Suburban, tied up a little um, cable rope. No, I don't know what you call those. Whatever the used um something to attach the car to the suburban and i had to while the suburban was pulling me i had to steer my car while making like whenever we would stop i would have to be the one trying to stop and it's yeah it was pretty scary I've never done that before quite the experience going around curves um thought it would be a little, little bit more difficult than it actually was kind of fun because i felt like i was kind of skiing but in cars but at, the, at first i was like scared to death because i was like i'm gonna freaking die this is gonna be the end of me this is never not gonna end well because we had to we had to tow it pretty far. It took us um, almost thirty minutes to get to where we needed to put go. Need any help? Uh, where were you when the kidnapping happened? I'm asking everyone. Where were you when the kidnapping happened? Me? You think I kidnapped Maya and then breezed in here just four minutes later? Yeah, just answer the where question. Where would I hide her in my back pocket? Just answer. Just answer the question, Prince Charmstrong. Charmstrong. Pick that up from Nicholas. I picked that up from Nicholas. Now please proceed. I, well, I was late getting back from a haircut. Mm -hmm. I, I, this is hard for me. I think my hairline might be receding. It's oh, miserable. Dear Lord. Simone's gonna go through the roof. Mm hmm. So why are you interested in helping me? Why are you so interested in helping me? Well, Maya was kidnapped from my dressing room after all. I just can't help thinking maybe they meant to kidnap me. I'll talk to you later, darling. Talk to you later, Brady. You betcha. All right. I know I say that a lot. All right. I don't. I don't. I have no idea where I'm going with this. Um. What else do I need to do for the state end? I can't exactly remember. I know there's something. Like somebody's supposed to find something, possibly. I don't know if I asked. I need to ask Nicholas Falcon. I think where he was during the kidnapping. Maybe that would help us out. And then possibly in the day. I have to call somebody else. Not really sure exactly. Oh, no. Nicholas Falcone is not there. So we cannot. Cannot do that. Let's call either Ned or Bess. See what's going on. Let them know. Because I don't think we've called them yet. Been a lot of my time calling my friends back home. I don't know why they don't come with me on these trips. Might as well. Hello. Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. I think this Nancy. is the only time, time. this person has Something done Bess. This has happened. 
Maya went to Brady's dressing room to interview him. I guess he wasn't there. She screamed, and now she's gone. I think she's been kidnapped. Oh my gosh. Why would anyone want to kidnap Maya? I received a threatening phone call. Somebody wants desperately to stop this demolition, and they're holding Maya as a bargaining tool. That's terrible. Have you called That's the police? Terrible. I called, all right. Sounds but awful. get this. According to standard procedure, standard they procedure. can't get involved until Maya has been missing for 24 hours. What could possibly be standard about a girl getting kidnapped? They're not, They're not convinced, convinced it's a kidnapping. It's a kidnapping. Well, how did she disappear then? Poof? Poof? I look at them. I have no idea what it's going to be. Ramsey says it could be a prank. Or Maya might have just taken off or something. Sergeant Ramsey obviously doesn't know why well, she is the most dedicated report. reporter. It's true. The only way she would have abandoned this story is if someone dragged her away from it. And that's probably what happened. Parents know? They always travel this time of year, remember? And besides, I've got to find Maya before this demolition. I doubt her parents could get back from the other side of the world before then anyway. What a mess. Yeah, it's pretty mess. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been so personally attached to a case. Call me back when you know more. I'll get a hold of George and Ned and let them know what's going on. Poor Maya. I guess the only consolation is that she's got you on the rescue mission. Yeah, I guess that's it. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm... Well, first of all, I'm going to hang up this phone. That's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, put a like on this video. Comment below if you have any suggestions. Any tips, any tricks, any future games you'd like me to play. And subscribe so you never miss an episode. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. That was weird. I said that all wrong.